I just want to take a moment personally, and um, I've been actually meaning to come on here and um, thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for your prayers. Um, A lot of you guys have reached out through comments and even some through email and have expressed your concern and expressed how you're praying fervently for my recovery. And um, it means so much to me. And the prayers work. Um, there is definitely a healing taking place and um, it's much in part to your prayers. So thank you um, so much for that. And um, thank you guys for praying for one another and for praying for this ministry. The Lord had shown me a couple years ago that uh, a word that the time is coming where casual prayer will no longer do. And I believe with all my heart we are at that time and we need to be on our faces before a holy God. We need to be rending our hearts and not our garments in this final hour and praying without ceasing for each other, um, for the ministries that are putting out the truth because those are the ministries that are really truly coming under the attack, um, spiritual attacks and um I I truly believe in part what I have been dealing with over the last few months, at least in part, has been a spiritual attack, Um, only because I was in the process of starting to prepare a prophetic word that the Lord had given me um, regarding America. And it has been being birthed in me for several years now, but um, I had started to put together my notes for this Uh, this video and I had a sudden onset of neurological and coordination and vision issues which made it near impossible for me to even look at a screen. So um, I had to take a huge step back and it's really only by God's grace, His strength working through me, that that we've been able to put out the weekly updates for the last three months every week because Some of you may or may not know, but the Lord has privileged me on the back end um, every week to be responsible for all the post editing and all the graphics um, that go into every weekly update. And um, that requires a lot of time for me to be staring at digital devices and screens. And um, it's been just really painful to um, to do that. But I just really felt that the Lord was going to get me through. And I just took it one minute, one day, and one prophecy update at a time. And somehow, by God's grace, um, we haven't missed an update since my symptoms started three months ago. So um, I'm so thankful for that. It just goes to show you how in our weakness, God shows up in incredible ways and shows us that we can do all things through Christ who does strengthen us in our weakness. So, um, but a healing is taking place and um, we'll see what the Lord has in store for me with this prophetic word. Um, if he wills it for me to put it together moving forward, um, I know that it will be done and it will be in his perfect timing. So please pray for me in that department because I know it's a word the enemy doesn't want out. Um, and, um, the greater is he who is in us than he who is in this world. And, um, I know a lot of you guys out there are going through your own struggles. So it's not just about my struggles. We're all in the thick of the battle right now. Um, in these final moments, the enemy is attacking Christians, attacking the true believers, the remnant, the church that is sounding the alarm, that is sounding the alarm, not just necessarily through social media, but even in your own homes, to your families, to your spouses, to your children, to your aunts, to your uncles, to your friends, to your neighbors. And um, the enemy does not want the truth getting out there. So, he is attacking God's people right now. And, um, you know, I see in the comment section when we're in the chat, when the prophecy update is live, that there are those of you that need prayer and immediately you guys start just, you know, agreeing in prayer, like really stepping in and standing in the gap with prayer for each other. And that's a beautiful thing. And it's what is required in this final moments. Um, Prayer, changes the atmosphere of what the enemy is trying to do and um he's defeated and the second you 
proclaim the blood of Jesus over the situation. You can't stand that. Um, and there's so much power in prayer. So we need to be really just standing in agreement with prayer one for another in these final moments. And so I know you guys have been doing that for me. And um, I thank you so much because I truly need the prayers um, with everything I've been going through and um, just the spiritual attacks and the physical attacks, mental and emotional attacks as well. And um, but a praise report through all of this is that um, some of you may know two and a half years ago, I sustained a brain trauma through hearing a loud sound. Um, I had in-ears in while I was getting ready for a ministry live event, and I ended up um, developing a condition called hyperacusis, which is, I wouldn't, well, it's just a horrible condition. Um, but, but God, and um, two and a half years later, I actually thought some of these symptoms I was dealing with these past few months may have been attributing from that original injury. And, um, but I have gotten cleared from my specialist that um, I see for the hyperacusis. And he said that that is behind me, that, um, that my ears are completely healed and that the hyperacusis is gone and that's honestly the lord had given me that promise early on in the um in the injury and um gave me a dream that it was i was going to be completely healed and um i thought it was going to happen really really quickly um but the lord wanted to take me through some things and teach me some things that he was using that injury as a means to have a way into my heart and to um really just to pour some new revelation and truth of who he is into my heart and um i think that's really honestly what's happening right now in these final moments where a lot of you guys are struggling and um you're you're just getting weary and um the lord he you know we look at the book of job we look at how he went through some horrendous things and one of the most important things that we can remember from job's testimony is that before anything could befall job the devil had to go and get expressed permission from god to even touch him. And um, anything that we are going through right now, we have to remember that we are sealed in God. We are, he, we are his workmanship. We are, we are, he, he loves his creation, he loves us. And anything that we're going through, if it is on a spiritual level, then we have to understand that God is allowing it and if he's allowing it, it's for a reason. And he promises to never let anything touch our lives that won't in turn be turned around for our good and for his glory. And I've seen that so many times in the last two and a half years of the struggles I've gone through. Um, and honestly, my entire life, when I look back on the things that, that God has done through my own family and my personal life, uh, he always turns everything around for our good. And it's just a process. We got to trust him day by day. So whatever you're going through, um, just remember Job, you know, the Lord allowed that season of testing in Job's life. Um, but anything that the enemy is doing that is causing discomfort in the lives of the believers, um, He's only on a leash as long as God allows it to be. And um, and God only allows it if it's for our good. So be of good cheer. It's overcome. And uh, soon and very soon, all the tears that we are facing and uh, 
the fears and the worries and the anxieties that we're going through on this side of eternity are going to be in an instant melted away and cast into a sea of forgetfulness never to be remembered. So hold on to the hope of eternity. Hold on to the hope of the soon rapture of the church, knowing that this world is not our home. We're just passing through. And we have a God who loves us, who loved us so much that he came, became man, laid his life down in one of the most brutal, torturous ways that any human has ever endured. And he did it for us because he loved us so. He saw us when he was upon that cross. And so anything we're going through, just just keep your eyes on the prize. And um, God will keep you until the day that we hear that trumpet come up hither.